Hi, welcome to my video on the order of operations on polynomials. The order of operations follows PEMDAS or what they call BIDMAS and that's uh, I call it the P or the B so that's uh, parentheses or brackets which is the same thing so we have to do the inside of at the parentheses of the brackets first. Then we have to do the E, which stands for we have to work out the exponents or the powers. Then we have to do multiplication division or division multiplication, and we do that from left to right. And then we do whatever's left over addition and subtraction from left to right. Left to right, as if you're writing a sentence on the page in English and you're going from left to right. So don't forget, you do the inside of the brackets first, always. Then you do the exponents and then you do multiplication, division, left to right and addition, subtraction. Let's obey that. We, you've seen that many times in my videos, but it's very, very important. And it's true here. So, the inside of the brackets, I'm going to write down PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, done. Uh, 2x plus 3 is simplified, and x squared plus minus 2x plus 5. So that's done. I don't have any exponents on the top of the brackets, so that's... Oh. I have to do multiplication division as I go left to right. In polynomials, most of the time, you see a lot of multiplication. So x times 2x, 2x squared. x times 3, 3x. And 4 times x squared plus 4x squared. 4 times negative 2, negative 8x. 4 times 5, 20. Notice we have that done. So now we add and subtract from left to right, but we have to group our terms. So just takes a little second or two to put all the x's and x squared. So we put an x squared first, then the x's, and then the constant. And we add up the like terms. That's a 6x squared minus 5x plus 20. The x squareds go together, 6, negative 8 and 3 is negative 5x plus 20. First one is done. Now we have to do pen, write down PEMDAS, just don't take too long. Uh, now, inside the brackets, or unlike terms, we can't subtract and we can't add, so that's done. Now I have to do this power first, but one way to do in polynomials is to write it down twice. So once I write it down twice as x plus 3, x plus 3, then I'm really, I'm taking the power away and doing the multiplication, but I'm really doing, doing the squaring. So when I look at this now, I really have a multiplication and a subtraction. Now, another little hint, with the subtraction, we add on the opposite. But a little trick that I, I do is that I put a 1 here. So if you put a 1 in front of this bracket, you can treat that as a negative 1 times the 6x minus 1. Now you can do multiplication and a multiplication all at the same time. Putting that 1 there is, remember, it's plus negative because when you subtract, you add on the opposite. So if you put a 1 there and put the plus negative, now you're multiplying negative 1 times 6x minus 1. So treat that as a 1 and do the adding on the opposite. If you think about it, then they're both multiplications. So now I do FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. And negative 1 times 6x is negative 6x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. Group my like terms, so I have an x squared plus 3x plus 3x minus 6x plus 9. So I put all the x's together. Notice when I moved them, I didn't change the sign. x squared, that's a 0. 0x, zero 6 minus 6 is 0, so I don't put it down. I just write x squared plus 10. Number 3, I have... And that's again done. Let's see, do I have, can't simplify, can't simplify, so that's okay. I don't have any exponents on the top, nope. 
Now I do multiplication, division, left to right. This time I got a division. So remember this, 2x is divided into both of these, not just the 4x cubed, is divided into both. <clears throat> so if you think about it, you go negative 4, 2x into this one gives you negative 2x squared. 2x into 10x squared is 5x. So we have the division done. So I'm put it there. Now I'm going to do, think about it. I'm doing this and this first. So I'm leaving that subtraction till after. So foil first, outside, inside, last. I want to multiply by foil. I should simplify that before I go further. 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Done. Now I have to subtract. So if you think about it, you can put a bracket here. But you, So here it is. So when we subtract, we add on the opposite. Negative x squared plus 11x minus 12. So now, notice I divided, I multiplied, I kept this in a bracket here because of that subtraction, because I'm going to have to subtract. If I leave that bracket off and forget about the subtraction, I'm going to be wrong. So because that subtraction is there, I put this in a bracket, simplified it, and then I did my adding on the opposite last, which is what I got to do. So my multiplication division was done. So now I'm doing the subtraction. Descending order, x is next, minus 12. So the squares go together, the x's go together with the constant on the end. Add them up, negative 4x squared plus 16x minus 12. So just be careful when you're doing, this is the students, when you get this down pat, the order of operations and being careful, then your algebra will really go well. Part of the reason why students can't do well in their algebra and manipulation is that they don't follow the fundamentals that we learn in the earlier grades. But I'm emphasizing uh, order of operations, uh, multiplying polynomials, foil, be careful, descending order, just be careful. Practice means you work these out to see how you're going to do. Pause your video and work these out. Here we go. I see a big bracket. I see inside brackets. And I see the 3x minus 5. I can't do anything there. Oh, that's P-E-M-D-A-S. Better not forget. I have to do the inside of these brackets first. So that's the square bracket. So let's work out the inside. So on the inside, notice I have a multiplication and a subtraction. But again, if I put a 1 here, a little trick, put a 1 there and go plus negative. And now you're doing the two multiplications instead of doing a multiplication and a subtraction. Little trick, put the 1 there. Multiply 6x plus 6, 6 times x, 6 times 1. Negative 1 times 4, negative 4x. Negative 1 times 1 plus 1. And we have to simplify the inside of this, so that's a 3x minus 5. And simplify that, I get, I'm going to go 2x plus 7. I'm not going to, when you see that you've got to add these, you know, there's no need to rewrite it. So add your x is 2, add your 6, and 1 is 7. Now, no exponents on the outside, we will do multiplication again. And we do foil, uh, 3x times 2x, 6x squared. 3x times 7 plus 21x. Negative 5 times 2, negative 10x. Negative 5 times 2x, negative 5 times 7, negative 35. They're in descending order, so add up the like terms or subtract them, whatever way you want to say it. 21 subtract 10 is 11. And there it is. So notice, and after that's done, then there's no addition or subtraction. Yes, there is an addition right here. You simplify. So that's done then. 
Number five, we have a square. So let's, I always like to write out in terms of polynomials, I like to write it down twice. When I write it down twice, I don't go wrong. Now I'm doing my PEMDAS, let's see. The inside of this can't be done, so that's, that's no, not like terms. My exponent, I've written it out twice, so that's done. Now I'll do my multiplication. So I have a multiply here, and a multi I got three multiplications. Normally, what I like to do, I like to multiply my two binomials on the right side first. Multiply these, foil x squared, negative 2x, inside, negative 2x, plus 4. x times x, x times negative 2, negative 2 times x, negative 2 times negative 2. And we have, we got to simplify the inside of that. I always simplify. If you simplify, it makes it easier when you're going up the line. You have less terms to deal with. So negative 2, negative 2 is negative 4. And now we multiply by 5x. 5x times x squared, 5x cubed. 5x times negative 4x, negative 20x. 5x times 4 is plus 20. Oh, that's a square there. 5x times negative 4x is negative 20x squared. And that's done. Number 6. Again, P-E-M-D-A-S-P. Uh, can't do inside of here. Can't, they're already on like terms. No exponents. And I have to multiply and multiply. And I leave this subtraction alone. So what I'm going to do is put, because I'm multiplying that, put that in brackets. I'm going to put that in brackets. Let's do this multiplication. This one and this one first, and then I'll do the subtraction after. Notice I got two sets of brackets. Foil first, outside, inside, last. Notice I'm multiplying. Here we go again. First, outside, inside, last and I make sure this is simplified so this is x squared um, minus 17x minus 28 like these like terms are added up simplify x squared that cancels out and I get a negative 4 left now I'll add on the opposite oh, okay let's move that bracket over there so I can subtract, so I can go 3x squared minus 17x minus 28. When I subtract, I add, that's a plus becomes a minus, and that's a minus becomes a plus. So when you subtract, you add on the opposite. The opposite is, is that's a positive makes a negative, and that's a negative makes a positive. But remember, another way is, we didn't do that when we did subtraction earlier because I didn't have distributive done. If I put a one right here, and make that plus a negative. If I went in, <clears throat> excuse me, negative one times these two, I would make a negative positive. So it's just another way, add on the opposite, or put a negative one right there. And group my like terms now. So multiplication is done, and I'm grouping my like terms. Done. So the x squareds go together, the x goes next, and the constants go in the end. And that gives me 3x squared minus 18x minus 24. Notice, I'll put, I'll put the 1 there for you. Negative 1 subtracts 70. Negative and negative is add up to get a negative. And that one's done. P-E-M-D-A-S. And I have to obey. Uh, I can't do that. I can't do the inside of there. So they're all simplified on the inside. Now, this is... I could call 2x squared right away, say 2x times 2x. I could make that a 4x squared, because that's not really hard to do. But notice I'm obeying the math that I do my exponent first. So if I wanted to write that down twice as 2x 
times 2x times this, go ahead. But if I square it right away because I can, then I got my power done. So now I have to do a multiplication, a division. I have no division, so let's multiply these and multiply these. So I've got to be careful now. So 4x squared times x is a 4x cubed minus 8x squared. That's done. Now I've got to be careful here because I can multiply 3 by this one first, but I prefer, I'm going to do this now, I prefer to do the these two binomials first. First, outside, inside, last. And as I said, always simplify the foil. So that becomes x squared minus 3x minus 4. So I multiply by foil and then I simplify it. Now I have to continue this is already done. This multiplication is only one. It's only just the two of these. So that's done. I keep writing it down. So I did the foil, simplified it. Now I got to multiply by the three. Three times x squared. Three times three x. Three times negative four. Done. And then I group in descending order. Squares first. Oops. Cubes. Squares. Oops. Cubes. Squared. That's a getting ahead of myself, that's a negative 8x squared, yep, okay, sorry for that, it's already in descending order, that's cubes, squares, squares, perfect, so just 4x cubed minus 5x squared minus 9x minus 12, just got lost for a second there, not talking instead of thinking. It's already in descending order, so you just add your x squareds, and everything is okay. And the last page is page 4 of 4 coming up. And we got more practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Simplify each in descending order. Pause the video and work these out to see if you're going to get them right. Good exercise. So I got three binomials. So what I always do... I always multiply the two that's on the right first. That's just me. So binomial times a binomial file. First, outside, inside, last. Notice we keep I'm doing this to show you, but I would just go x squared, I would write the count theme. In my mind I go. But doing the pen, following like that means you're not going to make, hopefully not make a mistake. If you're like me, I make, mis make little tiny mistakes, what I call little mental errors. The multiplication is done, and now I simplify the inside. So the x's are added up to give you negative 6. Now I do uh, binomial times a trinomial. I got to do all this again. Here we go. It's, x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 6, negative 6x six squared. x times 8, plus 8. So the x is multiplied by the 3 of these, done. Now I'm going to multiply the negative 1 by the 3 of these. Negative 1 times x squared, negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 6x, six plus 6x. Six negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. That's done. I just forgot the review. We have uh, no practice to do on the inside because there are I have no exponents, and now I have to multiply. But there's no division, so I again I multiply these two. Now I'm doing the multiplication again, and now I'm doing the last step of addition and subtraction. But I have to group by like terms. Let's see. I got a cube. I got squares. I got x's, and I got the constant on the right side. Descending order threes, two, ones, yep, as powers, exponents. Three, two is next, the x is next because they're ones, and the constant is on the right. Add up these, x cubed, negative six, negative one, negative seven. Eight and six is 14x, and a negative eight.
again, when I move these around, notice I move these, I do not change the signs. I keep the signs as they are. So that's uh, negatives still say the negative. That plus eight still say plus eight. Number nine, PENDAS, P-E-N-D-A-S. Two X plus one can't add together. X plus five can't add together, so the inside can't be done. Now, because I got a square, and again, I do the same every time. That is, I write this out. So if I square and multiply by itself, square and multiply by itself. So now I'm really back into the multiplication. So I have to multiply and multiply. So let's move, let's see. I'm gonna move down here. So there's the plus. So I have the plus. Now I'm gonna multiply these two first. I'm gonna put that in a bracket. I'm gonna multiply these two next. Put that in a bracket. So the foil on these is first, 4x squared. Outside, we're multiplying now, 2x. Inside is 2x. And one times one is one, done. And let's do foil on this one. I could simplify this next. I could go 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. I continue with that last done. Let's finish. Now let's do foil on this first outside, inside, last. Just a reminder, foil is first, your first terms, outside is these, inside is these, last are these two. So first, outside, inside, last. And we got the multiplication done, we'll simplify these two. If you simplify this product all the time, you won't go wrong in math. Now we have to add these. So by adding these, I can, this, I, I'll do this step, but it's really, when you add, you don't change any signs. If that was a, if that was a subtraction, I would add on the opposite or multiply by negative one. So, now I have to group my like terms. I got a square, and I got a square. Then I got an x. And then I got a constant of 1 and 25. Notice, I could have went from here right to here. Omitting this, because with a plus sign, I just got to group my terms. And notice I didn't change anything. So add, I get a, sorry, 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 and 10 is 14, 1 and 25 is 26, so done. Now, number 10, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, just takes a while to practice this to make sure you're doing okay. And a reminder, when you make an error and you get it wrong, by doing one step at a time like I'm doing, you can go back and check to see where your error is. Find it, correct it. Remember, finding it and correcting it is part of the learning curve. We all make mistakes. It's when we do the test, we want to get that 100%. Then we should be okay. PEMDAS can't add in here, can't subtract. Everything is no exponents to do of the brackets. Nope. So we have a 9x. Notice, 9x cubed is all by itself. Minus. So we're going to do this multiplication here. There's no division. So notice I got a, a subtraction. So 9x cubed subtract. So when I multiply this out, I'm going to put this in a big bracket, extend it out, because I'm going to do the binomial times the trinomial. So that's first is 4x to the fourth. Next, notice negative 8x cubed. Again, 4x times 1 is plus 4, 4x squared times 1. So 4x squared times x squared, 4x squared times negative 2x, 4x squared times 1, there it is. Now I'll do negative 
3x times x squared, negative 3x cubed, negative 3x times negative 2x, plus 6x squared, negative 3x times 1, negative 3x. All done. But notice, I have it in a bracket, because I'm going to subtract last. That's an important step right here, remember, to do this in a bracket. So that's a 9x cubed. There we go. Simplify the inside of this. Now, if you want to get fast, you can group your like terms, or you can just look at them and say, okay, 4x to the fourth. Okay, x cubed's next. That's a negative 11x cubed. So scratch them out. I got the x squared's next, which is 10x squared. And the minus, they're done. And the minus, so I can do descending order here, but I don't have to write it down. You, you can. If you want to write it down and group them and then come up with this, be, be my guess. But when you get good at it, no, or when you know what you're doing, you can say, I got to do the fourths, and I got to do cubes, and I got to do the x's. So as you do them, cross them out. Make sure you don't miss them. So again, do the x to the fourth. The x cubes are there, add them up. The x squared to there, you add them up. And then the x. And we do, that's a subtraction. So, subtract, we add on the opposite. So that makes that a negative. Makes that a positive. Makes that a negative. Makes that a positive. So when we subtract, we add on the opposite. Done. Or, if you think about subtraction, we can go, that's a 1. And that, that's plus a negative. If you put a 1 there and do plus a negative, great. Now remember, negative 1 times all of this is just going to change the signs and all of them. So that's when you subtract, you're adding on the opposite or you're multiplying it by negative 1. Your choice. And descending order. Now, I can go. Okay, x to the fourth goes first. Then my cubes. So that's 20. Then my squares, and then my x's. So I'm avoiding, especially when you're writing a test, when you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, then do this. Put it, write it down. And so there it is. So the fourth goes first, the cube's next, the square is next, and the x is next. And then you add the cubes. The only two like terms here is the cubes. So there's the descending order. 4, 3, 2, 1. Understood. No constant. And that brings us to the end of simplifying polynomials. And hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, practice makes perfect. Practice makes you, I wouldn't say perfect, but it makes you better. The more you practice, the better you get. Especially with the algebra. If you like my video, click the like button. If you're not a subscriber, then subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell because there's more videos coming. Many more coming. Write a comment on my video if you're a subscriber. And visit my math website at mathfullyexplained.com. There you'll have three sections. Read up on me, my degrees, and teaching experience. Read up on the video section. Gives you the information that I'm going to... Or tricks and strategies you can use to help you learn your math. And the content is the topics and the number of videos that I have online on my YouTube channel. The black font is what's online already. The red font is what I will be doing in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.